Welcome to Better on Bowen. Today we're here with David Peerless, who is the managing broker and owner of Dexter Associates Realty. David and his family have had a long history on Bowen Island of more than 80 years. David is going to tell us about the magical place Bowen was and still is. So David, what did bring your family here? You know, Vaughn, it goes back obviously many years. I've been being here all my life, 60 years. They met at Bowen Island in the pre-war years and uh, 1930s when the Union Steamships was a very active part of Bowen Island with their resort. They came up on the Lady Alexandra on the what they called the booze cruises, uh, coming up here for a dollar each for uh, a trip up here with the big bands. and. They really started their, you know, relationship together and Bowen was an uh, enormous part of it. And once my father came back from the war, they sort of reconnected with Bowen Island in the 40s. And through the 40s and 50s, uh, started to rent up here through the Union Steamships. Um, I was born in 1957 and my earliest memories of Bowen Island are a rental cottage uh, around the old clay tennis courts and the original uh, Union Steamships Resort in, the, in Hotel Bay. And uh, about 1961, I believe it was, the resort had been closed down and the land subdivided off and all the old rental cottages um, were sold. And our family were the first buyers of uh, the cottage that we're standing at today. And I remember my father saying he called all of his friends and said, you have one chance, let's start, let's buy a cottage for our families. And it just started in my life, really just a joyful, joyous, you know, experience that now I'm able to pass on to my children and actually now the fourth generation of our peerless family um, in our, uh, in, in Bowen Island and on Bowen Island. So it's been a wonderful experience. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada's third city, one of the West Coast's busiest terminals for sea, rail, highway, and pipeline transportation. Crossroads of commerce, meeting place of world travelers, where three quarters of a million people live and work to the fast-moving tempo of the 20th century. And it all happened since yesterday. So David, what was Bowen like in the 50s? Vaughn, my earliest recollections as a very young child um, were just this magical environment of being able to play safely, you know, around the old resort facilities, the clay tennis courts, the pool, which I learned to swim in at three or four years old, and just sort of the, the freedom and sort of pastoral pace of island living. And I had the benefit of that all growing up. I spent all my summers here. We would come out of school in June, go straight up to Bowen Island, stay here until uh, Labor Day. And we hated Labor Day because it meant going back to the big city year after year. And, uh, you know, just so many stories of so many friends, tremendous freedom. You know, we. We had little boats to row around and then when we got older, little motors on them and then later water skiing and uh, exploring and hiking and biking and getting out and exploring the other islands in the area. You know, it was a freedom that, you know, I, I just can't imagine that younger generations have now. What we're trying to preserve for our families, because my children have now grown up here and we're now uh, with grandchildren, our fourth generation of our family on the same island and the same property. Um, I just can't tell you how incredible that really is. And, you know, I've seen Bowen change over the years, but um, I look back on it and most of that change has really been good change and allowing other families to come up and experience what we've experienced on Bowen. Um, you know, being in our business, you know, we deal with families and in our company, and as you know, we deal with generations of families. Mm -hmm. And that's why Bowen to me is such a special place because our clients, your clients, they're starting to experience what I experienced throughout my life. And I love the fact that we're able to provide that to people and find people homes on the island. 
because I think the majority of what I experienced is still available to people on the island here. There may be more services, there's a bigger school, there's, but those enhance really the experience and the, it allows people that live here now permanently uh, the ability to have access to the city but to have a lifestyle that I grew up with as a child and that's pretty amazing. Uh, that is something I don't know where you could experience that anywhere around a major metropolitan area. I just don't think it exists. So, yeah, I feel very fortunate. You know, as I've said, we've had four, or have four generations of our family here. Uh, I think my parents loved the island because it was that getaway close to the city of Vancouver, um, but still feels like you're completely away from the rest of the world. Um, I've grown up feeling the same way. My three children who are now adult children, they return to the island and really have the same feeling about it. They, they come up here, they put their cell phones down, our home doesn't have a television set. Um, there's a great peace that we find here. And our, now our, we have a two-year-old grandson who we really feel that that's going to be just the fourth generation experiencing what my parents first discovered, you know, going back into the uh, 1930s. You know, the changes that have, that have occurred around Bowen Island to me haven't really impacted what our whole family of multi-generations continues to experience. Um, you know, I can come up and go to the beach and feel like it's 1950, 1960, and my kids love that about it. And I think that's the, the magic of Bowen is that it's a little bit lost in time, yet it also has all of the benefits of being close to a big city and all the modern services that we enjoy on Bowen Island now. Uh, I wouldn't give it up for anything.